Hello again. I do have another tutorial on my Fuff sewing machine for you. I thought I've told you everything about it in my first main video about it, but obviously some people have more questions even on it. As I've been asked so many different questions, I like to try to answer all of them to you today. The first thing I've just been asked if I can put in my Fuff 561 also a second needle. No, because you must understand mostly all industrial sewing machines are made for one job to do. And any of those one needle Fuff sewing machines, they work with one needle, they work with one transporter, they work with one bobbin inside not with two. It is not possible if you need or want a sewing machine with two needles to go you have to buy a two needle Fuff sewing machine or brother or whichever company it might be it doesn't matter. On a two needle machine if you have that you can take one needle out, you can take one bobbin out and you can take one transporter out but on a one needle machine you cannot double it. It is impossible. You also asked me if you can let the transporter down to do different jobs with it. No, this machine is made to do a straight seam. You can go backwards and forwards with it to fasten your stitches, but that is it. Of course, you can stitch anything with it want, that you want to. But the main reason is why they're being built like that is they're supposed to hold, they're supposed to last for a lifetime and in these factories that's what they do as long as you take good care of them. They need a good clean after you've been doing a lot of sewing, a blow through and they need to get oil but without giving them the proper oil which is a special oil for the sewing machines you have um, it will break down because it goes dry like when you drive your car and you forget to put new oil or more oil in it won't last forever, but if you take good care of this sewing machine, it will last your lifetime, believe me. And then there is the main question which I've been asked several times. As I explained in my part two on my Fuff machine, how you can use the pedal with the foot and what you actually do with your pedal. Somebody says, well, please let me watch the pedal how you do it. Well, I will try to show this to you, but please don't be disappointed if you cannot really see what's happening because this is such a little movement I do with my feet for the different uh, functions the machine has and what it does on the top now that you cannot really see this. So if you don't like it, don't start giving me thumbs down. That's not my idea of showing you this video. Okay. I'll show you this now. I hope you can see what you're looking for, but don't be disappointed, all right? So I tried to explain to you on the top here first what I do, and then I show you exactly the same how I do it with my foot. To lift my pressure foot, I put a slightly backward push on my foot pedal. You see? It lifted. Now if I only take my foot off or let it go forward again it goes down. So I repeat I push with my heel slightly not with a hard pressure with a very soft pressure down to be able to place my material underneath. Now with a soft touch with my toes practically forward on my foot I start to make the mis machine doing the stitches. The, the harder I push my pedal down, the faster the sewing machine will stitch. So when I want to lift the foot without cutting my thread off, all I do is with my heel I slightly push the pedal down. It lifted up. I push the front from the pedal and I start the stitching again. Okay, but now maybe my seam is supposed to be finished here. My back and forward stitching I can do either with the hand on the right side here 
Or I also got another one here. I can also do the back and forward stitching there. But now my seam is finished and I not only want to lift the foot, no, I want to cut the thread off at the same time. And for that, again, I have to do a push with my heel, but this time not soft. I have to do quite a heavy uh, push with my heel on the foot pedal. That means I just cut the thread off and it lifted my foot at the same time. And now I show you exactly the same so you can watch my feet doing this job. So to start my sewing, as I just said, first of all I have to lift my foot, my pressure foot up. So I do this very slight move with my heel going down and you can hear me lifting the foot at this particular moment. That's all I do. I put the material underneath, I let go, the foot is down now, and with a slight touch towards the front, I do a very slow stitching. With a big push down, I go faster. So just lifting the foot to maybe turn the material, I only do a slight soft push down with my heel. Now I let go again, I lift up to turn the material, and I do a forward stitching. And now I'm at the end of my seam and I want to cut this off. So I do, either I do a back and forward stitching again as it, if it's needed. And now with a big push towards the back, I just cut the thread off and the foot is up in the air and I can take the material out. So I just let it down again and that's all I can show you how to use the pedal for using my sewing machine, my 561. I hope with this all your questions have been answered correctly. Bye until next time.